So far, our blog's looking pretty good, but there isn't any media or other types of images displayed on it. Fortunately, Bootstrap provides some easy ways for us to add those quickly without having to write a lot of HTML or do a lot of formatting. Specifically, we're going to use the Bootstrap Media class to add some comments right here. The way that sites like Facebook display comments from users that show a picture with their name and some text next to it. The first thing I'll do is add a new row underneath the top Jumbotron. I'm going to have that row contain a single column. So I'll give that a class of call-md12. Inside of this column, I'll create another div and give that a class of media. This will be the container for a single media object. I'm going to start out by just including a photo. Give that an image tag with a source and there's an image folder included with this example. And one of the pictures in there is of the Acropolis. We'll give that an alt tag, which contains a description of the image and is part of the HTML5 specification. Now when I go back to the page, I have a simple image being displayed in a row, but it doesn't look very nice. To make this look a little bit better, I'm going to add some classes. The first class is going to be wrapped around this image in an anchor tag. We'll pretend that we want the user to be able to click on the image and link to somewhere. I'm going to give it a class of thumbnail. The thumbnail class quickly formats the image and makes it look like a thumbnail by putting a border and some space around it. Here's what it looks like. Now, this isn't very good, although I do get a hover effect when I move over the image. The box is spread out to the width of the column and the image is centered in it. It's not really what we were going for. I'm going to add a class to the image to make it look a little bit better. On this container, I'm going to tell it to pull left. That will left justify the image and collapse the border around it. That's better. Now I've got the border tightly around the image. Let's add the name and some comments from the person who's creating this posting. Kind of the way that Facebook does when someone makes a post. Below my anchor, I'm going to create another div tag and give it a class of media body. In short, this will associate anything that we put here with that image, so it'll flow together nicely. Let's put a heading inside of the media body, and this is where the name of the poster could go. I'll also put the posting date inside of an EM tag. An EM tag stands for emphasis, and by default, this will usually italicize the text that appears here. So now we have the poster's name and date. Let's put a little bit of text down here to make this look complete. I'm going to copy and paste some text inside of this paragraph tag. I'm copying and pasting to save some time. There. Now we have a more complete look to our posting. You can see that just with a few HTML tags, about 12 lines to be exact, we are able to get a nice looking social media feel to our site. Let's add one more post. We'll have to start with another div and give that a class of media as well. This denotes a second posting. Our first one 
was above it right here. Our second media tag begins here. Otherwise, it will pretty much follow the same format. We'll start with an anchor and give it a class of thumbnail and left align it by pulling it left. We'll do another image pointed at the same image folder included with this example. This one will show a picture of Washington State. And then finally, below our anchor, we'll have a class of media body and a similar format in here. Here's the H4 with nested EM tag for the date. And some text down here that I'll copy and paste to save time. And that's really all there is to it. We've created two social media style posts using Bootstrap without having to write a lot of code. If this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button to get similar videos every week. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you want to see similar videos, click on the links under Check Out These Tutorials by Simon Says It.